how's everyone? So we're two days, uh, two days post beating, uh, meaning I was physically assaulted by three uh, people claiming to be Schiller Park uh, law enforcement officers for no reason. Uh, and now we have that case pending. Uh, I have something going on with my wrist, my right shoulder, and then the right side of my head was slammed into the ground. And as you guys know, uh, I am pregnant, so it's obviously not ideal uh, for law enforcement to slam someone onto the, the ground pregnant. Um, so we're working on that uh, in addition as if we didn't already have enough stuff going on. Uh, we are at an animal sanctuary for deer and raccoon. Uh, you're not supposed to camp here, but we uh, spoke with the forest preserve and they were okay with it. I needed to rest. I think I definitely had some sort of a concussion. Um, I was just very dizzy and very tired and very confused all day. So we're packing it up now and I have my daughter's birthday is in two weeks. So I want to start looking for projects that I can make um, and little uh, decorations I can make to go with her gift. Um, and that's, uh, we have a few stores that we like to go to for things like that in the west suburbs. So that's going to be a, a bike ride. And then we've got, um, Xavier needs to meet with his father today and we're going to do that as well. And that's a little farther east. So we'll be moving around a lot. Uh, in addition to speaking with the Forest Preserve, I got uh, a paper called Marcy's Law, which discusses, vic uh, it discusses all of the victims' rights under the state of Illinois, as well as the federal government. And the very first thing and most pivotal thing to me is that I've known this, but it's here in writing. I've signed it, law enforcement has signed it and gone over it with me on body cam. It states that I have a right to restitution. Um, so, and that's not just for this time, that's for all of the victimizations. So I'm working on that as well. Um, it is frustrating. I do miss my children. It's been nine weeks now since I've spoken with my youngest child, Alexis, the one who lives in Northwest Chicagoland, um, and the two big kids who live near where we are now in the West suburbs. Uh, I have spoken to, but not as frequently as I would like. So we're staying positive as possible uh, under the circumstances and we're packing up things now. Um, and we're gonna keep it moving. So I'll check in with you guys later. Um, mainly, again, the themes are not gonna change. It's gonna be always checking on the family, getting some exercise, uh, and continuing to thoroughly document what's going on. I hope everyone has a great day. Peter, do you wanna say hi? Yes. Savage by police, a man and a woman. I thought the policeman held me back and said if I if I touched him that he would get me on uh, putting hands on a police talk officer. About how it felt to see your pregnant wife getting thrown to the ground by law enforcement. And well, it's definitely it's definitely an assault case, and um, we're gonna go after this officer. And are we going after the the woman officer too, or just the guy? I don't really want to go after any individual officer. I just want them to give me money for beating the fuck out of me, and then not be in a position to do that to anyone else. You know that needs it's, to never happen again. It's an assault case, and it's it's an internal affairs case, and when we talk about one love. When I talk about One Love anyway, it's not like, just like Bob Marley, you know? When I talk about it, the only meaning of One Love for me is this, and everyone can have their own individual meaning, meaning pardon me. If I wouldn't want it done to me, if I feel as though it's unethical, immoral, or illegal, and I wouldn't want someone to do it to me, I should never be willing to sit by and watch while someone does it to someone else. And opening that door, you know, you have to have a lot of logic and reason and practical uh, emotional intelligence when you're thinking in that regard and taking action because it's not a riot uh, or a war. It's a refusal 
to lay down and be trampled on. Uh, and there's a big difference. So we're promoting peace, right? We want peace, but we're not going to lay down and let anyone stomp on our heads, you know, to the ground to get it. Uh, there has to be a better way. So this has just been absolutely a, a nightmare. Um, and I'm very grateful to be alive at this point. We're four years in. Prior to the past four years, I've never been a victim of violent abuse um, or assault. I had been pretty sexually assaulted before, uh, which is why I was sexually traumatized and why uh, I was such an easy target and an easy victim. Uh, but I worked through that for the most part, and you would hope that without intervention from law enforcement and the court system, um, you know, that it would be celebrated that a person was able alone to survive and also heal themselves from such traumas. You would think that the law enforcement or government that neglected to become, you know, assets and assistance and resources to the victims during that time would most certainly have an interest in getting involved now uh, and trying to do something to restore this person and make restitution for the negligence. Um, but instead what happens is I continue to be further victimized. Um, so again, we're documenting thoroughly and uh, we're sharing our story. I would never want to see this happen again to myself or anyone. I'm not a criminal. I wasn't using drugs. I was sitting in a public park under a gazebo uh, when police entered into the area where we were prepping for photo shoot and they went straight to Xavier. Um, they have been bullying Xavier. They don't much bully me anymore. And I said to them, we just arrived here. It's bright daylight. We're not doing drugs. We're not partying. We're doing nothing illegal. Uh, we're prepping for a photo shoot. Are we doing something wrong? Otherwise, this feels like harassment. And the guy said, shut up, I'm not talking to you. And continued whispering in Xavier's ear. And it was very weird, very uncomfortable, um, and just not acceptable. And then they came back after Xavier went to pick up a pizza for us from Uno's Pizza um, in Schiller Park. Someone had donated a pizza while we were doing this photo shoot. And he had gone to attempt to pick up the pizza. Not 30 seconds after leaving, I'm surrounded by law enforcement three of them all shining their flashlights in my eyes and telling me to get out of the park. I did not even have time to move. I stood up, I began rolling my yoga mat. I said, why wouldn't you have said something about this when you were here harassing us three hours ago? And they literally just began beating the fuck out of me. They had gloves with them uh, and in their hands that they were putting on when they approached, which lets me know that this was premeditated and preplanned. So without filing, uh, without you know violating any uh, aspects of the law, I most certainly was attacked and ambushed. Here. Um, and if you can see, I have two big, big old goose eggs right here on my forehead, and both of my wrists are pretty inflamed. The right one worse than the left. Um, and then they broke a wheel off of my cart and threw all of my luggage in a pile in the corner of the parking lot. So, yeah, they pretty much waited till I left and then just pounced on her. Usually the cops will give us a grace period when uh, they well, arrive anyone, on site. It's like anyone. If you say move, you have to let someone get up and move. You can't say move and expect that they're just going to evaporate. You know, we're, we're dense. We don't evaporate. You've got to give us a few minutes to pick up our shit and go. So it's just... It's been a very, very difficult situation. Uh, human rights and civil rights have not been upheld in any way. And I think that they brought Xavier into my life 13 months ago to have a second witness because there were so many things happening and they were happening when I was pretty much by myself, which puts it as a, you know, their word against mine type of situation. Um, but anyways, you guys, uh, I really miss my children. I, I cannot communicate that enough. Every single day is a struggle. Um, emotionally I'm, I'm doing the best I can I need work if I am making money and earning income um, I can easily distract myself um, with the hope that it will pay off and be a stable safe space to live and bring my children so any sort of paid projects that you guys have 
uh, that you need consultation with or uh, anything that you guys need, you know everything that I offer, website, services, copywriting, uh, design, publishing, uh, advertisement, making and posting. Uh, if you guys have anything for sale and you need that posted on Mercari or eBay, I do that as well. Fitness. Uh, personal training, nutrition and meal planning, uh, home cleaning, commercial business cleaning, uh, vehicle cleaning, um, any sort of medical assisting or uh, home health, everything like that, you guys. This, I, I really have uh, experience, genuine experience with numerous references and letters of recommendation from uh, very reputable people in each of these industries. If you need any assistance with anything, uh, please, don't hesitate, the DM is always open for that. The targeting was, was in full force the past 10 weeks and I'm really hoping that it uh, you know, kind of starts boiling down and, and uh, you know, that we have some sort of restoration process for everyone who has been harmed. But first and foremost for myself and my family and my children, I, I need my home and my car back and that's really all there is to it. You guys have a great day. We're gonna keep on cleaning up here and then I think we're gonna go have tacos for breakfast. Um, we only ate one meal yesterday, but I needed rest, so I was grateful to not have to move. Uh, that Forest Reserve cop brought it when he filled out these other reports and gave us the Marcy's Law paperwork. Um, and quite honestly, I, I don't know how we would have eaten or what we would have done if he had so we're, we're very grateful about that. Everyone have a great day today and please continue documenting whatever's going on with you guys because I don't have uh, that big of an ego to feel like I am the only person in the world dealing with adversity, right? I understand that when things heat up uh, for one, they heat up for many. Uh, so keep documenting and having your own back when the system is failing you or you think the system is failing you, you can never be too careful. Have a great day, you guys.